All right, today we are unboxing the deluxe edition of Aerodome Rising Horizons. Uh, we have designer Wade Pichet is going to kind of navigate us through the box here. Uh, we also have one of their game mats. Let's actually start by opening up the game mat. We so we have a nice surface to uh, yeah. um, unbox everything on. Oh, a razor would have been nice. Uh, so this is actually the deluxe game mat that comes with the deluxe. Oh, it comes edition. with the deluxe edition. Yeah. Okay. So the deluxe, I kind of went all out for you guys. I wanted to make sure you had really like all the premium stuff. Um, so, so if you want, if you want it just like top notch day one, this this is what you go for, right? Yeah. All right. Um, and like this is like one of the most popular things that we had on our Kickstarter. Yep. Um, <laughs> the mat is a unique scenario mat or stadium oh, that's mat. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we call it the belt. Um, it's got like a unique placement. Like this is kind of like the classic placement that we kind of play tested. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be honest. I don't remember what that says. <laughs> so this is some type of encoded message. Yeah. So this is a, a, a binary code from a, the entity that kind of runs the arrow node. You know, I'm sure somebody, somebody who's into binary is going to take a look at this and, and you know what, we'll give you yeah. a shot at it so you can uh, figure Where, actually, out. Actually, yeah, whoever uncodes it, I'll, I'll, I'll send them something. There you go. First person First to person. uncode it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. we got a box. It starts with a real nice sleeve. I like that. Easy yeah, to get in and out of a game library so when it has a sleeve. Uh, nice, nice sleek cover. Uh, on the inside, too, is also... See. Ooh, yeah. nice. So if you wanted to crack it open, yeah. you'd have like a banner. Yep, a little Aerodome banner, which I like. Awesome. Uh, corset. So this is the standard box for the corset that we use. All right. Um, it's an 8 by 8 by 3 which is a nice size. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's not, not big, too big, but not big. Small, but not too small. Slide that in there. And of course, we open up to the rule book, which is always good. Um, I think we're up to 32 pages total. Yep. Um, Beautiful. Now this game is uh, so Aerodome tells me it's something about flying. So, uh, yeah. So Aerodome. Uh, it's kind of like the base idea here. It's an aero. It's a tactical card game, uh, where in which you are flying a uh, single ship against each other. All right. Uh, and the idea is to shoot the other person down. All right. Uh, the card game element is you're playing cards for your maneuvers. All right. Yeah. And then uh, your fighters are represented by little hexagons on a 14 by 24 mat like this. All right. Um, this is our play area right yep, here. Yep. Um, we have a quick reference here for how to play. But also all the rules you need are in here, including stuff like uh, um, we have essentially like pre-made lists for every pilot in the game. There's 16 different pilots to choose from. Just I, like, in the course of I like it. So first time, I just kind of want to get set up and going. Looks like this is where I'm starting. If yeah. I don't, if I don't, if I haven't like taken a look at every single card. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, just just replicate one of these. Uh, we always, one of my favorite pilots to always start with is uh, Theodosia. Yep. Um, she's a pretty straightforward pilot. Um, Alice is also a pretty straightforward pilot. That's usually who we demo with. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then like there's little backgrounds for every character as well. Oh, gotta got love the lore. Gotta love the lore. The story so far. Uh, yeah, uh, there's even yeah rules in here for a free for all format all right. and for a squadron format, which is a four v four format. Uh, but yeah, good, good color rule book, easy to carry. That's like a that. little info sheet. One side kind of shows you uh, all the different maneuvers, mm -hmm. just so you have like a quick reference for yeah. how that works. Hopefully, you learn that pretty quick, and you don't need that side anymore. Uh, but this is nice though, because because a small mat, you can keep it next to the yeah. next to the, the table while oh, you're yeah. uh, while you're getting it. Yeah, and then, but on the other side, we have um, all the keywords. Oh, this is huge. Yeah. This is huge, yes. And then we have the buffs and debuffs, which are just various token uh, types for players to use. All right, let's keep, let's keep uh, taking some more looks I'm here. Gonna, I'm going to move that aside just for now. This, the next thing is kind of large. All we right. Have, so the main stadium, and the only stadium to actually play in the game so far, all right. is uh, the mountains. All right. Uh, which is uh, pretty, pretty, pretty recognizable for Aerodome fans now. This yeah, is the that's like the main, the main theme right there. Yeah, um, it's got your token placements just kind of marked out, uh, and like this is really just kind of designed to give people something to get started with. Yeah, start with if they don't have mat at home, uh, but you could use any 14 by 24 inch surface, or uh, you could buy the mountain mat mm -hmm. on our store. Yeah. Uh, Aerodome.com? Yep, aerodomegame.com. Aerodomegame.com, got it. Um, which, there's a QR code on the back of the box and in the rule book, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the real reason why I like this map is because on the other side, we have a... Oh, look at that. See, this... One of my favorite things is when game designers, you know, you're, you're using every 
every inch of surface you can to to deliver not only the game but also a story. Like this is this is amazing. Well, the, the whole reason why I started Aerodome is I really wanted to tell stories. Yeah. Uh, so these are kind of like I said, the two of our main pilots, uh, the one, like two of the main ones I started with. Uh, we have we have Alice and we have Theo. Um, there's other like little Easter eggs. So, like June 10th is my birthday. Nice. You know. Um, down here we have like you know like this is another pilot Jax Fernandez. They're a uh, uh, from Artago, which is like a video game world. Uh -huh. So we call them the uh, the quarter killing, combo crushing, eight bit wonder of the world. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just like fun, kind of like fun stuff like that. Kind okay. of leading into uh, this uh, stadium esque yeah. battling. How do I focus? <laughs> so yeah. it, it sounds like. Uh, each of the different colors are like different, like almost factions, uh, different so worlds. The colors are not factions; they're different okay. pilot archetypes. Okay. Uh, so actually, let's get into that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, do you have a, do you have good nails? <laughs> <laughs> we can figure it out. Uh, yeah. So this is all the punch for the game. There's four sheets of punch. I'm just gonna open this up. I didn't want to do a lot of shrink wrap, if I'm being honest. This is the only thing in the game that's shrink wrap. Yeah. Well, it makes sense for the cardboard. Yeah. Keep it all together so that the punch doesn't fall out yeah. and you get just a box full of pieces. Yeah. This is part of the experience, right? Yep. Yeah, but I, I you know, I, I, I really want to be environmental about this, mm -hmm. so I, I try to keep the shrink as, as low as possible. Uh, so these are all the tokens. Um, we have a sheet of essentially uh, the auxiliary, so the items, the general ones, mm -hmm. uh, dazed, in fact, with uh, frozen and burn tokens. All right. These are like your buff tokens. Um, yeah. Your maneuver tool set, right? Awesome. Maneuver tools and shot tool. So that's. So now, if I got the deluxe edition, I believe it comes with a. Oh yeah, well, we're getting. There. Right, we're gonna get there. All right, cool. I just, I, people, I know people like that swag. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. swag in this. Stuff. All right, cool. We have I'm excited to see those too. Um, it's just the, the damage tiles. Yeah. So 15 hit points, right, in the game. And then yeah, so as we were saying, Aerodome is broken up. Uh, by color, based on the archetype of the pilots. Is that mm -hmm. good? Uh, red is Daredevil. They usually have more riskier maneuvers. Got Yellow it. is Speedster. They go faster. Blue is Sharpshooter. They uh, have like more proficient attacks. Mm -hmm. Can uh, do more damage output. And then green uh, utilizes Auxiliary, which is like okay. the items in the game. Uh, and there's 16 pilots in this, so they're double-sided here. Uh, I don't like saying this, but I'll, I'll tell you. And right. everybody watching this, all right. uh, that you could actually play eight player out of the box pretty easily. All you really need is it's a way to keep track of health. Yeah, more health track. Okay. Health, which you know, dice or whatever you want to use. But everybody accessible can take. until somebody's ready to buy the next box, yeah. right? But we also try to keep it affordable for people to. If right. they play it once, you know, they want to back it. It's not like a multi hundred dollar investment. Yes, of course. Uh, so that is the punch. Uh, we also have all the cards now. So in the game, there's um, 16 different pilots, so that's that big. All right. Take a look here. 16 different pilots. Uh, so there's there are four different worlds or factions in this game as okay, well. Okay, cool. So we have the first here um, are all biplanes. They're from like a World War One setting. Oh, okay, so we're looking actually at the style of the plane for the group. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, I know we'll say down here Ace. So that's the, that's the world they're from. Um, Got it. So then we also have you want to get them all out. Yeah. Yeah. So we have Ace, which is a, a World War One faction. Um, it's actually the, the starting point for the game. That I you know I started working on Ace in college as a uh, as a TV show slash comic book. Uh, next we have Martaga. Uh, that's where Jax is from. They are a video game setting, like a 19, late 1970s, early 80s, like an uh, arcade cabinet. All right, kind of so I am 8-bit. <laughs> um, next we have Futoria, which is this row here. Uh, Alice is on the cover here. That's the D22 Maverick. Mm -hmm. uh, I call them muscle planes. Yeah, I mean, that's, what, that's what exactly that's, what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. like hot, hot rod plane mix. So I, like I, I kind of took, you know, some of my favorite World War II planes yeah. and some of my favorite uh, American muscle cars and kind of just smush them. Uh, Excellent. And then lastly, we have the Star Lancers, which are a sci-fi setting. Uh, but yeah, so every pilot is pretty unique and different. Uh, they all provide different effects. Each of them has a signature uh, battle card, which we'll get to in a second. Uh, 
Um, and yeah, uh, Archie and Ely here are like a double-sided pilot. So okay. Like that's, a, that's a unique Unique thing, and then the thing, rest, the rest, the rest yeah. have, have uh, the art yep. on the other side. That's awesome. Yeah. Of those 16 pilots, there's 180 cards for you to build your hand. So uh, in Aerodome, you have a nine card hand, right. uh, ranging one through nine. Uh, when you're list building, you take this little bar down here. Um, that's 11 different act or 11 different types of cards you can take. Okay. Uh, but when you're list building, you just match that icon with this. So the uh, jacks can take three straights, okay. up to two turns, up to four rolls. Uh, which is like a feature for Martagas. All of them have a lot of rolls. All right. Because it's like a side scroller kind of yeah. thing. Uh, one rotate and one Immelman. Awesome. Right. So that's like 11. So this, so is where I, this is where I start. I pick my pilot first. Yep. And then if, I, I, if I'm ready to, to move on from the, the constructed hands, I can start building my own by, by just matching off of there. Yeah. Stadium set of cards. So all your items. All right. That come in the game. I think there's 20. <laughs> uh, so the mountains, like I said, is like our, our basic mm -hmm. um, stadium or arena that we're using. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, every stadium will have like a set of um, item cards as well. So there's five cards just in the mountains. So these, this right here, marks points on the map where if I touch them, I can get one of these cards. Yep. Got yep. it. So, and every stadium will come with like a set of five cards All right. that you have to include in your item deck. Mm -hmm. and then you can also add up to three other cards to your items. Um, throw them out there real quick. Yeah. But you can add three more of these to this, shuffle it, that becomes your personal item deck. All right. So there's some customization in items, but not all. All right. Ooh, I, I see sparkles. I was, I was very impressed by these. <laughs> So these are a set of the 16 fighter pilot cards, or the oh. fighter cards. Uh, they are spot foiled. Beautiful. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I'm being honest, this is the hard. This was the hardest thing for me to make. I'm the, sure. I'm sure game. it was. Part, part of half of it is just explaining what you want. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah, they are. They are gorgeous. They came out better than I expected. Um, Um, and yeah, so everybody gets a set of these from the deluxe. A pack of 50 sleeves for you to use. Really, you only need, I guess, 20 right. between your pilot. <laughs> but, you know, nice sleeves. Um, feature, we call these four the champions. All right. So that's actually Theo, Alice, Jax, and Ash. You get how many sleeves? 50. You get 50. You only need about 20 if you're using it for competitive or just for your competitive one list. Playing. But I noticed, I mean, I don't want to jump the gun here, but this says Aerodome, Aerodome, Rising Horizons. That, that kind of seems, that kind of seems, oh, there it is right there, season one. All right, so the, I, I can save my sleeves for season two. I can get, yeah. I can get ready to go. Yeah, and there Or have multiple sets. I, I plan on doing, each season will have multiple waves. All right. Um, I'll tell you, we're, we're going to do another wave next year. Okay. 2024. You heard it here. Now it's it's now official. I, now I have to. <laughs> um, Multiple waves, and then also, yeah, like we'll do another season, mm -hmm. and the new season will have a new core set. Awesome. Um, which doesn't replace the old core set. Right. It's, it's just, just an a, ability to jump in at that point. Yeah. Right? And like a, a, get a bunch of ships in the core set. Mm -hmm. You know, it's far more affordable for me to actually do a core set yes. than like a bunch of little packs. So. Yeah. And it'll have like new factions. Of course. I'll, I'll tell you, like, season two is going to have it's, uh, the, the name instead of Rising Horizons is going to be Scattered Winds. Okay. All right. Um, and it's scattered winds because uh, one of the factions uh, uses sails. Okay. Um, which is pirate ships. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really know how they got the space, but you'll find out. That's and then um, the other faction is going to be a, a, a mecha. All right. So we're going to bring mechs into this as well. Um, sky's the limit, really, though. And it's kind of fun. Da -da -da. Yeah. I like it. I like yeah. it. I mean, if you can make it fly, you can aero dome. Yeah. <laughs> So everybody who backed the Kickstarter is going to get these items. Okay. So these are the, this is what I call the Kickstarter pack. Yeah. Uh, in there we have um, two alt art cards. So this is actually Jax's. Um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is Jax's uh, signature card, and this is Theo's signature card. Yes. Um, the art done both, I think, are by me. I didn't, I didn't even put the artist down there. Well, all the game's art is done by me anyways. Right. So, um, there's also two... Um, generic pilots. Okay. That we kind of just want people to have fun with. Fighter token for that too, for people to use. Uh, everybody's going to get a plastic card from the Kickstarter. 
you guys remember. So this is Alice Drummond's plastic card. Ooh, high quality. As a gift, I think I'm giving everybody two of these. Oh, what is... So these are... One of the, one of the main things I want to do in Aerodome is I wanted to... Um, for like OP and stuff, I want to do blind packs mm -hmm. just to kind of incentivize people to keep going week yeah. after week instead of getting all the items at once. Um, so these are two blind pack plastic cards. You want to open yours? No. Oh, let's 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 do it. All right. So I, I don't know what's in these. First random uh, alt art for OP here for Aerodome. Let's make it happen. Uh, it's gonna be real sad if they're both the same. <laughs> uh, but there's 20 different options. So each... right, this, this is what we got so far. Oh. I oh, see. You... I see Ace yeah. maybe. Yeah. So you actually the got back here with the two. The two. You got one of the rare ones. Um, so I just oh I got an Alice. Got an Alice. All right, here we go. Here we go. And you got a Theo. I was, I was trying. I was trying to keep the uh, keep the envelope I, nice. Let's see. Oh, I, I did it. Oh. So right. Yeah. So that's one of the chase cards. Is a, is a, a red Theo. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. So like this is kind of one of the uh, ways I want to kind of incentivize people to play at events and stuff. Is yeah. Keep it interesting. Open up this idea of trading with others. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and like, like I said, really kind of incentivize people to do more than just one event. Beautiful. I'm gonna tell you, Wade, I saw the prototypes for yeah. these. This looks even better than the prototypes you showed me. Yeah. Next it level. feels premium. Yeah. It, it, well, it, it is feels, premium. I mean, I mean, you're right. <laughs> it, it is, and it feels like it is. So then every, uh, every backer of the deluxe tier also gets a full set of um, I, I call these um, the grayscale pilots. Uh, I had a lot of requests actually for like top down, top down views of them, top down views for the markers. Yeah. Um, so I thought I'd do it here, uh, and I made them generic, just so you could use like your stop with camel for any pilot with a stop with camel. Yeah. Um, but these have the same thing, you know. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> uh, and they're full color. Um, yes. You know, like this is kind of like a, a static that we've been going for. Uh, yeah, man. That, this is absolutely gorgeous. So for those of you who backed it at the deluxe tier, this is what you're getting. Um, will there, I'm, someone's gonna ask, is there enough, if if I didn't back it, the, the deluxe edition, when uh, when it was available, is there can, is there any way for me to get this again? Or am I uh, out of luck? So we did, like I said, we did have some here that we were giving out. All right. Um, but also, so fine aero dome at a, at, a, at a convention. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't. I don't want to. I mean, this is meant to be like a Kickstarter exclusive. Of course. So I don't want to overdo it. Yeah. Uh, so if I do sell more, yeah, I want to do it for charity. I love it. Uh, so we'll probably do like an auction style thing, and uh, either auction off just the tokens, yeah, or the full set, um, as part of a charity, and yeah. donate you know proceeds. This is this is awesome. I mean, but I. This being your, like, for this game, like the first set of acrylics that exists for it, yeah. is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, no pressure. I don't know how you're gonna one-up this. But maybe maybe you got ideas, but I mean, you're, this is a very strong starting position, let me tell you that. A metal token that we did. Oh, he flicked it. Uh, the champ yeah. tiers, so the $300 tiers, uh, are getting a full set of the metal tokens, uh, metal fighter tokens. But yes. This, this is probably where we go next. Uh, oh. Not that has some nice heft to it. Beautiful. Love it. And I, I love how you were able to transfer that pattern from the, the acrylic to the metal. Beautiful. This is like some guy just took our. <laughs> just kidding, that was pharma. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, we've been very excited. I mean, I'm, I'm ecstatic. Like, I, I hope people saw the photos. If not, join us on Instagram uh, and join the Discord. Uh, we do have a TTS going. Awesome. Uh, I think we even have, we're gonna start doing events on there. All right. For a little bit. Yeah, um, let, me, let me know. Like, I, I would love to, uh, I'd love to play. Yeah. I, I, wanna, I wanna play some Aerodome. So again, we've, uh, we've just unboxed the Deluxe Edition of Aerodome Rising Horizons. Uh, Kickstarter was successful and I'm looking forward to the future of Aerodome.